going to um, ask you, unless there's a significant objection from the board, before you do any of this other stuff about bankruptcy, inquire <laughs> of our council. Is bankruptcy a realistic legal option for the district, given the position that we're in right now? I'm also I'm going to continue that interruption to clarify one thing that has been kind of a, a phrase that's been misused throughout this evening. Um, I've heard it several times that we have a, a unfunded pension issues. That is not accurate. We are pay as you go on the pension. Our actuarial black hole is OPRV, which is other post-retirement benefits. Okay, basically it's medical insurance coverage. Okay, we are we are not deficient on our pension funding. I just want to be really clear. I want to hear kickback uh, from the public. That but can you clarify your pay as you go? That was changing in terms of the amounts that we were expected to pay as we go. The formula that's that the formula has today. changed, so and, it is and a we greater burden. we deal with it as it arises. But we don't have an actuarial backlog. Right, question: Are you one, you're one hundred percent funded? As of this time, on our on PERS, on the actual pension benefit, on the pension. It might be the only district in California that is. Yes. That's another issue. I just I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll take your word for it, but I'll check. Uh, Trust yeah. the verify. We 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 do have a very substantial and worrisome <coughs> OPEB. Mm -hmm. Okay. But our PERS has been, and yes, the numbers are going to change. The numbers change all the time. There's a significant change coming that's been in prior board meetings, okay? But we do not, at this time, have a bucket of unfunded pension benefits. Just want to be really clear on that. But just to, you can refer, anybody can refer to the district manager, the former district manager's letter from December 2014. It was in the in meeting notes about how those those uh, amounts that we're gonna we need to pay were right. projected. It, I, I, that's absolutely true. It's in the public record. It's on our website. It's just substantial. It is substantial. I'm talking about today. We have no bucket of unfunded pensions. Hi, my name is Jason Gold. I'm a Marinewood resident and also a firefighter for Southern Marin Fire Department. I just have a quick question for you. I'm, I'm confused because at one point in this meeting, you guys have said you were financial financially stable. And then in the next breath, you guys are talking about filing for bankruptcy, potentially. <laughs> so I'm just confused on that. So am I. <laughs> yeah. really? I mean, because I think <clears throat> board members and district manager, I am writing to correct the record and to establish some facts concerning the discussion about pensions that occurred at your board meeting on June 14th, 2015. In my statement, I said that the district has large and growing liabilities for both pensions and OPEP. Later in the meeting, Board President Reed stated I was wrong. She agreed that the district has large OPEB liabilities. She disagreed that the district's, district has large pension liabilities, saying it had none, so no need to worry about them, and that anyone could go to the district's website and see for themselves. I did just that. The district's website, which contains actuarial statements from CalPERS, shows the following. For the most recent year available, ending June 30th, 2013, the district had unfunded pension liabilities of approximately $3.2 dollars significantly larger than the district's unfunded liability for OPEP. According to a letter provided by the district to the district by former district manager Tom Horn in December of 2014, the district will pay $205,000 towards its unfunded liability in 1516. This number is estimated to rise to $321,000, an increase of 56% in 2019-2020 before declining to 2900 uh, sorry 299,000 in 2020-21. Um, these numbers are in addition to the normal cost of pensions that will rise throughout the period due to the use of new mortality tables. It is true that the district is addressing its pension obligation as required by law, that it is not so far addressing its OPEB obligation. However, simply because an obligation is being addressed does not make it acceptable to say the obligation, obligation doesn't exist. Board President Reed should correct the record. I request that this brief letter be read into the record at your next meeting. That's done. Thank you. It's really good, friend.